Welcome back to our garden care series. Today, we're diving deep into the world of cover crops, an essential practice for anyone serious about maintaining soil health and fertility. Cover crops are incredibly beneficial, not just for large-scale agricultural operations, but also for home gardeners looking to enhance their soil naturally and sustainably. Let's explore how to choose, plant, and manage these vital components of a healthy garden. Understanding cover crops. Cover crops include a variety of plants, such as clover, vetch, and rye, which are grown primarily to benefit the soil rather than for harvest. These crops play several critical roles in your garden. They prevent soil erosion, suppress weeds, and improve soil structure and fertility. Each type of cover crop offers specific benefits, so selecting the right one depends on your garden's needs. Legumes like clover are known for their ability to fix atmospheric nitrogen, enriching the soil with this essential nutrient. In contrast, grasses like rye contribute to improving soil structure, helping to prevent compaction and enhance root penetration. Choosing the right cover crop. When selecting cover crops, consider your specific soil conditions and what you aim to achieve. If your garden struggles with nitrogen deficiency, a leguminous cover crop could be the solution. If soil compaction is an issue, a deep-rooting grass might be more appropriate. It's also worth considering the crop's compatibility with your main garden plants and the overall garden ecosystem. Optimal timing for planting. The ideal time to plant cover crops is usually late summer to early fall, following the harvest of your summer crops. Planting during this window allows the cover crops enough time to establish themselves before the onset of winter. This timing is crucial as it ensures that the cover crops can start providing soil protection and enhancement throughout the winter months. Planting process. Planting cover crops is relatively straightforward, but requires some preparation. Begin by preparing the soil through light tilling or raking to create a suitable seed bed. This preparation helps ensure good seed to soil contact, which is critical for germination and establishment. Next, sow the seeds according to the instructions on the seed package. Different species will have different requirements regarding seeding depth and spacing. After sowing, Lightly cover the seeds with soil to protect them from birds and reduce the risk of being washed away. Water the area well to encourage initial growth. Care and maintenance. Once your cover crops are established, they require minimal maintenance. However, keeping the area lightly watered during dry spells can ensure that the cover crops continue to grow and cover the soil effectively. This care is particularly important in regions with unpredictable fall weather. Incorporating cover crops into the soil in early spring, before you begin planting your primary crops, it's time to manage the cover crops by either cutting them down or tilling them into the soil. This process, known as green manuring, involves incorporating the cover crops into the soil while they are still green and lush. The decomposing plant material provides a rich source of organic matter and nutrients, significantly enhancing soil fertility and structure for the upcoming growing season. Incorporating cover crops into your gardening practice is a smart, sustainable way to protect and enhance your garden soil. With minimal effort, you can enjoy a multitude of benefits, including richer, healthier soil that supports robust plant growth and productivity. As we wrap up today's session, remember that the simple act of planting cover crops can have profound effects on the health of your garden. Thanks for joining us today to learn about this crucial aspect of sustainable gardening. Stay tuned for more tips and insights in our next session where we'll continue to explore effective practices to help you grow a thriving, sustainable garden. Happy gardening and see you next time.